the flight line at RAF Lake and Heath has been under a major multi-phase reconstruction project that has taken three years and more than $11 million to complete. The original intention here at RAF Lake and Heath was to resurface the entire runway. Um, that was costed out at about $25 million and would have required a construction window of approximately six months. Therefore, the decision was taken in conjunction with civil engineering to break that down into three phases uh, over a period of three consecutive years. Phase one included for the repair of deep and shallow cracks on a section of runway of just over 600 meters. Phase two started in uh, May 2010. Um, it ran for a month, 30 days, and it cost 4.9 million. We repaired the deep and shallow cracks um, to the remainder of the runway from the phase one project, and we relayed the remainder of the Porsche friction course to the remainder of the phase one project as well. Phase three consisted of three sections of work. Section one was the 06 overrun repairs, uh, which is a complete reconstruction of all the asphalt uh, surfacing plus drainage plus uh, all the AGLs. Uh, section two was um, resurfacing of the shoulders um, from the 06 end up to taxiway Victor Junction which is approximately 43,000 square metres and the final section, the remaining section from taxiway Victor to the 24 end consisted of uh, localised crack repairs. The work was undertaken without disruption to the operational capability of the 48 fighter wing. The purpose of the reconstruction was to increase the operational life of the runway, thus sustaining the installation. The runway will be sustainable for the next 10 to 15 years um, and we plan in 2025 to either refurbish again or replace uh, the entire runway. All the hard work was worth it, breathing new life into the flight line. I'd like to thank everyone who assisted in the three phases of this project. Um, none of it would have gone as smoothly without all of their help, so thank you. For RAF Lake and Heath, I'm Airman First Class, Aaron Mills.